So today I'm gonna film my everyday go-to makeup routine. But before we get into that, I figured a lot of you guys like love the vlogs, so I figured I would do a little behind the scenes action before we get into that. So I don't know, maybe you guys will like it, maybe you'll hate it, I have no idea, but we're just gonna try it. So um, it's like almost noon. So I've already had my morning coffee, but I need another one. Just to you know, boost myself, a little energy boost. My shadow. Anyways, before I film, I always do some kind of like micellar water just to like freshen up my face. I don't always wash my face the next morning because I wash my face right before I go to bed. And then, then in the morning, I usually just do like micellar water. I've been using this one. This is the It Miracle Water. I've been trying this one out. I like the Bioderma one. I also really like the Purity Micellar Water. I also really like the Garnier one if you want a more affordable one. So I just put it on a cotton pad and just go over everything. And if you can see, I have a nice little um, breakout on my chin. I always get them on my chin, which I know that's like a hormonal thing. But I pretty much never get them anywhere else. It just always is on my chin. So whatever. I know there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. So then I'm just going to follow it up with a little bit of this. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting BHA Liquid. It has that salicylic acid or whatever the yeah, hell you call it. So I put that on a cotton pad and I just go all over and then, you know, especially in that area. But I love this. It just makes my skin look so good. It makes my pores look really small. So I like to use that a lot before I film. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't always follow it up with a moisturizer in the morning just because sometimes I feel like my moisturizers don't wear well underneath my makeup. So... So I'm gonna drink this and then we'll get started. Rosie, there's the baby. The not so baby. Come on in. There she is. So yes, I am going to just enjoy this cup of joe and then I should probably brush my hair. Um, fun fact, I basically never brush my hair. I'm like a six year old when it comes to brushing my hair. I like never do it. And then once I do, I basically am in tears. Like I remember when I was six years old, I had hair down to like my butt and my mom made me cut it off to here because I wouldn't brush it. And it was just like snarl city. So I should probably brush my hair, but I have to drink this because it's gonna get cold. That's what happens to my coffee number one in the morning. It gets cold because I get distracted and then, you know, also, I totally forgot that I always put an eye cream on in the morning, especially before I film because um, under eye issues. But this one I really like for the morning. I don't like use this for nighttime because it's not like super thick and I like a thick one for nighttime. But this one has this really nice metal applicator. It feels so good and it's from Paula's Choice also. So I just put this on. Ugh, it just feels like a massage. Like I need a full body one, please. Paula, please make this. <laughs> My boyfriend's mom's name is Paula, so every time I say Paula's choice, it just makes me giggle. So quick outfit of the day. I got this cute sweater on. No bra because, I mean, why would I wear a bra when no one can tell if I'm wearing a bra or not? Like that's just... There's no need for that. Um, today, I actually have leggings on. Usually, I'm wearing some giant sweatpants or flannel pajamas, but today, we've got leggings. Look at this mirror, though. This mirror is from Craigslist, and I have no idea what to do with it. It's so pretty, but I, I have nowhere to put it. So, this is my room currently. This is why you guys don't get a room tour, because I can't get my shit together. Like, I was doing Halloween stuff. Ugh. And then this is another story. This... This is how I am. Like, I can't, I don't know how to not be a hot mess. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I need, like, a tutorial on how to get my shit together. <laughs> I know this doesn't look like anything, but this is a step up for me. I put what I need for this video in this little stupid tray, and that helps me. And this, 
this scary place. Are you having anxiety just looking at this? Because I'm always having anxiety about it, but I mean, I don't do anything about it, so whose fault's that? All right, folks, it's showtime. All right, so here's the makeup look all finished. And now we're gonna get into this tutorial. I wanna start by saying this is gonna be my everyday makeup routine, but I don't wear this every day. I mean, who does something every single day? <laughs> so I'm either wearing no makeup, this makeup, or full on glam. So this is like my, my most worn makeup. So like when I'm out and about, I have something to do, but it's not anything crazy, this is what I'm wearing. Even when I'm filming, I wear this a lot. Or if I'm on Snapchat or just going out like with Tommy to do whatever, this is like what I'm wearing. So um, anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna start by priming my face. This is a new favorite of mine. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy spraying things onto my face and body. This included. It just feels so fresh and hydrating. And I know that I spray things very liberally. I'm very heavy handed with my spritz finger, but I just can't stop, won't stop. So the next for my foundation, I guess, this is one of my favorites to use. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I am in the shade Tan. I love this because it's so multitasking. It has an anti-aging serum in there. It's pretty full coverage and it also has SPF 50. So I just love that it's everything in one um, so I don't have to think about wearing all those separate products. So that's what I'm gonna use today and I'm using it on my favorite foundation brush. This is the Tarte Jumbo foundation brush. I have a video all about my favorite brushes, but this just makes everything go so much faster. I mean, look, I'm like almost halfway done. So I just use like one half of a pump on the lower part of my face and then half a pump on the upper large forehead part of my face. And I know that you guys are probably so bored to death with Tarte Shape Tape, but I haven't found a concealer that I personally like better. I just love it. So I'm not gonna go super overboard. I'm just gonna do a little bit on each little section. Cause you really don't need a lot. And then again, I'm gonna take that primer water and spray my Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is already damp, but I just like to add that little primer water on there. Cause like I said, I have a problem and I'm obsessed with spraying things. <laughs> So I'm really just using this to brighten the under eye area and um, make it so my face doesn't look so flat. But I don't add a lot for every day because I don't really like need the full on contour highlight. So then I'm just taking this Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. This is in the shade Champagne and I just use this kind of all over just to set my concealer. Um, it's just a really great powder. It doesn't look super powdery, but it just kind of sets everything in place and just gives it like that airbrush finish. So you can use this all over, but I just concentrate it on where I put the concealer. So next I'm going in with one of my new favorite palettes. This is the Becca A Press Ski Glow Face Palette. So I just love this because I can do like my whole face with it basically. So first I just take the bronzer color, it's called Bronze Bondi. And I'm just gonna use this to add some warmth to my face to just like a subtle bronzing. So I don't do a crazy contour. I just kind of just add some warmth to my cheeks and some dimension, but we're not like sculpting, we're just kind of adding some warmth. So then I like to go in with one of the blush colors. They have two blush colors, and depending on what I'm feeling, I will pick between the two. So they have this one right here, it's called Winterberry, which is a really pretty, you know, light berry color. And then they also have this one, which is called Bronzed Copper, which has some shimmer in there, and which is obviously a little bit darker. Uh, today I'm going to use bronze copper just because, I don't know, just wanna. Sometimes I even mix the two shades, but today I'm just using bronze copper. Then I just take the highlighters. There's a few highlighters in the shade. I love this rose quartz one, but today I'm going to be using opal, which is right here. It's one of my favorites. And I just take it on like a big fan brush and just kind of 
put it all over not using a small brush because I just want it kind of like diffused and not like super concentrated but I just put it in all the key areas and then for the eyes I don't do anything crazy I'm just taking that bronzer color and I'm just putting a sheer wash of it all over the lid so it just kind of adds like a little bit of something but you're not going to be blending your life away or like adding tons of shades like I just like that um bronze color on there and then of course I do it on the lower lash line also just so my lids aren't bare I just like it I don't know why then I just like to take my pinky and I pop this on the inner corner of my eyes again to make it look a little bit bright we're not reinventing the wheel here this is pretty basic but then I just put a little bit underneath the brow bone too So I'm going to do my brows really quick with the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It's um, pretty much goof proof. And then I just take a brow gel. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper in the dark brown shade. And this is kind of like a dupe for the Benefit Give Me Brow. So it just kind of keeps everything in place and adds a little bit of like color in there. So then I'm going to move on to lashes and I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Tinted Primer. This stuff, I'm obsessed. You need to get it. It instantly makes them longer and you could honestly wear just the primer by itself because I'll show you in a second. So this is just the primer. I mean, it just looks super natural. I don't really like a super natural lash. Like I like them thick and clumpy and spidery basically. <laughs> then I'm using mascara. This is Tarte Man Eater. I love this one. I also really love the Lancome Monsieur Big, but mine is dried out because I used the shit out of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna cake this on because like I said, I like thick bold lashes like if I'm putting mascara on I'm not doing like a baby coat like I'm doing the real deal holy field I don't even know what that saying means but I know that it's a saying <laughs> okay and then last but not least this has been a favorite lip combo of mine you just need a dark brown lip liner this one is from NARS it's called Hieres or Hieres I have no idea just take any brown liner And then just kind of just fill it in like a tiny bit. And then I take my favorite Tarte Rum Punch. This stuff, I can't get enough of it. If you wear it with like a just regular nude lip liner, it will look lighter. But I just like it for fall with this dark lip. But I don't always wear it with this dark lip liner. But these are so creamy and long wearing. I just really like it a lot that's it so just spray your face again because you know how we do here oh no i'm almost out come on dude you don't got all day and that's it my friends so if i have makeup on like on a day-to-day -day basis and i'm not doing anything crazy this is what i'm gonna wear so i hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon so now we're done and I'm probably going to spend a large amount of time trying to take pics of myself and that's like my least favorite part. Like I get done filming and I'm like, yes, I'm done. But then I'm like, oh my God, now I have to take a photo of myself and it's got to be amazing. Do you ever just realize that you definitely should have washed your hair yesterday or today? Sometimes like I'm on the fence and then I'm like, oh my God, I definitely should have washed it. <laughs> like this is inappropriate. Girls, oh, stretching, stretching. Get down. You always jump on me when I have the camera out. <laughs> you happy that mommy's done filming? You are aggressive. <laughs> Sassy pants. Do you need camera time? What's happening? 
Also, I wanted to point out that today, I'm actually not doing anything that requires me to look nice, but I have tried so many times to like do a get ready with me, but if I actually have something going on, like it does not ever come out good. Like I'm always rushing and I'm just like, Wah! I can't do it. I can't film me getting ready when I actually have something to do. I know that sounds so fake, but I'm being honest because I can't do it. I've tried. I just feel rushed and then my life is over. I have a meltdown. I just can't get my life together on camera. So I have to fake it. And I'm sorry, but I'm being honest. That's why I'm telling you this, okay? Look at these cute little beings though. Oh, and look at that pimple on my chin. This is everyday life though. <gasps> oh. Look at my babies. Look at my babies. My sugars. My sugars. I always call Rosie my sugar. And then it turns into sugar bear. And then it turns into sugar bear hair. And I don't, I'm not even, I'm not even into that uh, product. But <laughs> I just call her my sugar bear hair. <laughs> okay, I have to go. I have to work out. I haven't worked out in literally one month. Today is the one month mark of me not working out. And I just, I don't even know why I took all that time off. I just did. I was sick and then I was like, nah, I'm not doing this. So today, I'm gonna get back into it. So I have to take off all my makeup and then gonna hit the weights. Just a little FYI, I just uh, ate some scrambled eggs and waffles and my lipstick, still kicking. I mean, it's one thing if that happens and it's a liquid lipstick, but that's very impressive for just like a plain old lipstick.